afternoon guys and welcome to today's vlog. Please excuse the fact that I look like I've just rolled on out of bed. Unfortunately I've been ill for like the last three days with a cold and a flu and I, seriously I have not experienced a cold this bad for a long time. I've had no energy, like not been able to taste food or anything it's just done me head in. Done a COVID test, negative. So I'm taking it as just like a seasonal flu and a cold. But for some reason, I just seem to, I don't get ill for ages. I don't have a cold or a flu for ages. And then all of a sudden, when I do get it, it's just really, really bad. So apologies. That is why I have not vlogged properly for the last couple of days. Um. Today's is probably going to be a little bit of a quiet one as well because I'm still feeling it today and I'm trying to sort the boys' room out. We'll get onto that in a minute because I'm not happy. Um, I know a lot of people out there were saying, no matter what she gets, she always complains. Do you know if people did the job properly, I wouldn't have a reason to complain. Um, but anyway, we'll explain that in a bit. The boys' carpet got fitted today. Um, so I'm going to take you up and show you that. Um, I'm sorry if my lips look really, really dry. I don't know if you can tell, but they're just so dry at the top. And I feel like when I talk, they're like separating. It's doing me head in. Um, so, as you know, the boys' carpet was getting fitted today. And the bedroom carpet did get fitted. And then when we went up to look at it, there was no carpet on the stairs or the hallway. So we rang the company and we were like, where's the carpet on the stairs in the hallway? Because we did tell him we wanted the stairs and the bedroom do him. Um, we also had a friend of ours, um, her partner come out and measure up. So the guy knew that there was measurements um, for the stairs and the hall. Uh, for the stairs, the hall, like it's not a hall, it's like a about this big basically in it um the stairs and the attic room so we just assumed that he'd measured it all because he did confirm that he'd measured the be bedroom the stairs and the little hall at the bottom um came down and said yeah that's fine blah 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 it's this much um didn't explain to us that the stairs wasn't going to be included in the price because it would be more. So we just assumed because he didn't tell us that the stairs were being done. As you would, as anybody would. Um, like even when we signed the form, it said attic room. So I just assumed he was writing attic room because that's what he's doing, the attic room which the stairs lead off the attic room. Um, or if he wasn't doing the stairs, he would have wrote, I'm not doing the stairs. Or something along them lines, like stairs not included, or extra cost for the stairs. Um, the fact that he hasn't told us he's not doing the stairs, or give us the op option to have the stairs done and pay for that cash, is just absolutely disgusting. Um, so we're just, we're absolutely, we're absolutely fuming. And I'm even more fuming because it's a kid's bedroom, which we made a point of. How quick you get it done? Because it's for the kids. And it was like, oh, well, it takes like two weeks. Even though they said they were going to ring us in two weeks. And we ended up having to message them after three weeks and say, what's going on? Um, and she kept saying, oh, we've left your voice messages and you've not got back to us, blah, blah, blah. There was no voice messages on my phone. I've not had no voice messages at all. And as you know, because of everything that's going on, my phone is with me all the time in case Davina needs to get older me or somebody else needs to get older me. Um, you know, and nobody else has any problem leaving voice messages apart from these. The other thing is when he came out and we picked the carpet, he came out with a piece of underlay because um, you get your underlay free and your runners free. Although I had my own runners, they didn't put free runners down. So, you know, 
I just I just can't think because I'm just so annoyed. Um, but my point to all of this was that the underlay that they showed us is not the underlay that is under the carpet. So I messaged him and said, could you send me a picture of the underlay? And he sent me a picture of the underlay they put under the carpet today and I said, that is not the underlay that I looked at when you came out. It was green and grey and it was really thick. This one is more like a foam than a underlay. I've got a hair on my nose or I can see it or it's dry skin, it's doing me head in. Um, so yeah, I'm just seriously not impressed as anybody would be you know anybody that is getting carpet i mean i explained it well enough to him where we went upstairs with him and i turned around and said it's all of this part down the stairs and that little bit at the bottom i even said to him do you want me to move the wardrobe that is at the bottom of the stairs um so you can get proper measurements and he said no no that'll be fine um just leave it where it is i said do you need me to move anything off the stairs and he said no that's okay. So he knew we wanted the stairs doing, but it's a fact that it's come down and made us believe that these stairs were being done when in actual fact there wasn't. So if anybody's got any advice for me, because obviously we've um, reported them now to trading standards, um, because we wasn't told or given the option to refuse it, they, because he made it sound like everything was okay and I seen him measuring up so I assumed the stairs were on it. He didn't come down and said oh well you know it's going to cost too much with the stairs or you're going to have to pay the extra or you know we could do this and you can pay the extra so you can still have the stairs done. You know none of that was offered so I think that's what I'm more annoyed about because if we would have known that the stairs wasn't going to be included, who in any sense would have had it done? You wouldn't. So we feel like we've had to sign a contract under false pretenses, basically. So we will be taking it further. We've rang the company today and we've told them that we will be taking it further and that is exactly what we're going to do because... I have got sick and tired of people just walking all over me and thinking that, you know, it's, it's acceptable, it's just not acceptable. This is supposed to be a business. Even the woman that works at the office, she is pure ignorant, she is horrible. She talks to people like dirt on the phone and it's just like, you know what? She's clearly making your business look even worse than it is. And we've done a little bit, bit of digging on this um, company as well and found out a, a few things about it. Um, <clears throat> So we don't know whether it's for tax reasons or think yeah, but you know we'll keep looking. So if it ends up going to court, we've got everything that we need. So I think that is the plan that we are gonna move forward and probably take them to court just because you know I'm just not happy. Okay, guys, I have just come upstairs. Oh my god, it is hard work coming up them stairs, seriously. Anyway, I'm going to show you quickly. The carpet does look really nice, I won't deny. The carpet is lovely. But I'm still not happy. Even from coming downstairs to upstairs, I'm even more annoyed. Anyway, let me get my breath back and then I'll show you. So as you can see, I've started painting over here. Everything is going white. And then this is the carpet which looks really, really nice in here. So when everything's painted white, it's gonna look really fresh. Whew, so out of breath. And as you can see, there is no carpet on the stairs or down there. We even moved it out of the way. So surely you must have known or thought, oh, do they think they're having the stairs done on the hall? Why would we have ripped the carpet off the stairs if we weren't having it done? I didn't think we were having it done. So, we'll have to wait till we can get that sorted now. I've messaged someone to um, see if you can get me the carpet. We've just decided actually now whether to paint the sides and just have the carpet going down the middle. But I don't know whether it looks silly. Give me your opinions. Tell me what you think. It's quite a long hallway in it, so I might brighten it up a little bit. 
but as you can tell I've only put the drawers back I'm just going to bleach all these down now because I don't know if you can tell on camera but they just seem to have like a yellowy tinge to him you can't really tell on here but there is um, these are going to be going back over there once I paint that's why I'm starting this corner first I'm going to try and sort these boxes out and there is space behind these drawers I don't know whether you'll be able to see but there's enough kind of storage space behind the two of them to put stuff behind there so I think whatever is in here what they want to keep we'll put behind there for now and then we're going to get rid of them probably just take them to a nursery or something and they can use them for toys or whatever but yeah um I need to fill this in as you can tell it's um the ceiling is dipping I hate this room and this is one of the reasons mainly I hate this room is because the ceiling is just not straight and even on this side I mean you can't tell that much on this side but you can tell on top of the drawers that the ceiling goes up that way and then from this side it's just really really bad like look how slanted the, the camera's straight there so everything leans that way it's just annoying so anyway getting this painting done gonna get new lamps for here all these holes are going to be filled sorted out this is all going to be painted up here again we're going to take this down this was off um, a punching bag that Liam had when he used to be in this room with them um, but yeah and then that lamp's going in the bin and once everything's done it's going to look nice but yeah hope you like the carpet well the part of the carpet that we've got. I'm starting to think I should start doing my videos up here because it's just so bright. And this is probably the brightest room in the house. So once it's all done, mother might start using this room to do her videos in. Well, until I'm up back over at the studio, obviously I've got to get the house sorted out first and stuff. And hopefully later on I get to do some stuff on the cricket because I've got orders that I need to do. Um, new orders, obviously, and I've not even put any pictures up for ages, so I need to really get some of the pictures up on um, my page and stuff like that. So, anyway, I'm gonna crack on, get the rest of this painting done so we can get them drawers back over here, get the computers set back up on them drawers, and then, obviously, to start sorting the rest of the room out. Bring the mattresses back up we've found a bed for the boys um but it's just out of stock in the minute so <clears throat> they have said it's going to be back in stock in the next two to three weeks so unfortunately they're just gonna if they want that bed they're just gonna have to sleep on the mattresses until the bed comes in stock so hopefully we will have that and it is smart i really do like it and it'll be so much better as well because the way it is they'll be able to have computer corners on the end of the beds, which will be good. So Alfred will be able to have his on his side and Oscar on his side. Um, and then I'm gonna get new drawers. I really wanted to put them under here, but because you can tell how much the, the ceiling dips, it's just really hard to find drawers that are gonna look nice underneath there. But they probably will end up on this side just because that's the biggest side of the room. So I want that to look more open where this is the smaller side. So it's either that or I just get one massive set of drawers that just goes along this wall, which I probably could do and probably would look better to be honest. Um, and then that would leave that open and then just get like a matching set, which is a small set that can go on the opposite side in the little corner. Um, I need to stop saying um, but I really can't decide because I wanted to get them like a Lego table because I got all the Lego. Um, <laughs> anyway, whatever we decide to do, we'll do. Anyway, there's somebody knocking on the door, so I'm gonna go and let them in, probably the kids. So I'll see you soon. This is the life of a child when he comes home from school. <laughs> yeah, and then I got four. <laughs> what do you think, your new carpet, son? Comfort. You're loving it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. As we were saying before, 
that this bedroom's so bright, so I'm going to start doing all my videos in your bedroom. I'm going to have my setup in your bedroom. Wait, you're going to put your bed in here? No, I'm not going to put my bed in here. I'm going to put my makeup table in here. I want to put my makeup table in here. Alfie'd love that. <laughs> yeah, imagine makeup. <laughs> oh, I love this carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Tell the guys what you did in school today. You could even put your bags on the table, can't what you? What do you do today, son? Um, I <gasps> I remember. Long story. You like it? Can't even remember what I you did. You can't remember what you did in school? I don't remember uh, what I did in school. Let Oscar talk first. Art, like math, English, Harry, and you know, don't even know what I had for. Anyway, yep, I don't even know what I had first. What do you have for your dinner today? Sausage roll. What else? To drink. That's it. Yep. No cake. No, no biscuit. Come on, tell the guys what you did um, at school today. So I done PE. I'm gonna tell them what I did in PE. So I have to, to do this um, thing where I have to try and be a spider, and I've got to creep like a spider, and then anyone, everyone else has to be a duck and a um, bunny rabbit and a, a horse, but I'm the spider. So how do you be a spider? Um, listen, you just have to do that. Like creeping. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have for your dinner today? I want to tell them that um, then it's in English, and then I sing a song about Mary like praying. So it's a song um, which is about Mary praying, and then um, I had um, and then I had a snack. And play and then I had dinner. Dinner. Jeff for dinner. So I had a sandwich. I had a big cake. Did you? Big. What cake was it? Um, it was an Elsa one. An Elsa one. Yeah. Did it have cream on the top? Yeah. Oh, so it was. Was it like um a chocolate, like a cake muffin? No, it was like a like a cupcake. Cake. It was like a proper cake. It was going like. That. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, all of them were friends. Did you? Yeah. What, so does your class got to share it all? Yeah. We are. They said we have to share a big piece. Right. And then they said I can Did have you have the biggest piece? Yeah. Thought you might. So I had this one piece going down and like that. Did you? And all my friends had to have like a big piece as well. Right. So, and then we have to go play out with our cake. You do? Yeah. So you had a good day at school then? Yeah. Eating cake? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mum needs to carry on. Let's show the guys where I'm up to. Up to um, here. So I've done all the way around there. I need to cut that corner in in a minute. So I'm just going to move on. It doesn't even look any different on here, but because the grey is so similar to the white, but it does look better. It looks so much fresh. I bet I can get my mattress. I bet I can, that you can actually fit my mattress on here so that I can sleep. No, your bed's too big. You can't sleep in here anyway, this is boys' room. No, it needs to go to the tip. The tip. But and all my makeup needs to go to the tip, don't it? Well, all the ruined, ruined ones stuff. Yeah. All the ruined ones do. Oh yeah, do. my new one, my black one, my friend always uses like a big chunk. No lie, but she she just loves putting it on her on her. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna um, carry on. Mom, 
two more days of school and then my friend can come catch her. Yeah. Right, say bye to guys. We'll speak to him soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>Okay, I thought that I'd just check back in and show you where I've got up to. I have been in here since about half ten this morning, eleven o'clock, something like that. And then obviously I came and got the camera because I thought if you don't get it, I'm never gonna vlog. So anyway, I'll show you where I'm up to now. I'm gonna go out and buy the boys a new bedding set tomorrow just because these are old. They're still I mean they need washing. I'm gonna take them off in a bit and wash them. Um, especially the pillowcases. I don't know how their pillowcases get so dirty when they were washed about three days ago um, But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get my new set tomorrow. So it kind of goes with the bedroom So I'm just gonna show you where I'm up to still a little bit messy. Still got pay out and stuff But it's starting to come together Obviously, we've not sorted every single thing out yet and there's still a lot of painting to be done. So Bear with me because the row is on now so we need to go down and obviously spend some time with her and get ready for bed and stuff like that. So I thought I'd check in. We'll probably check in with Aurora, see how nursery was. And yeah, anyway, have a look at this. Okay, so we've managed to get the back sorted out. We've done all the painting around here now, so that is okay. But I will have to I will have to pull it out again to paint up here. Sorry if you can hear the kids scream, but they're all dancing downstairs. Um, I'm going to carry this on later, I'll get that bit done so that back part is complete but apart from that it's starting to come together I am going to sort these out, they all need polishing and stuff like that sorry if it keeps going out of focus, don't know why it's doing that um, and like I said we've stored some stuff behind here that they don't really need out on show or stuff they can just go and grab when they want it it's, you know, or if they need it, then you could just ask me to get it. We've still got a, all Alfie stuff that you had on here. We've left in the bag because it was just gathering dust on here and you couldn't really see it. So we're going to wait till we've got like either a nice little display unit or some little shelves here that you can stand all his um, Toy Story characters on. Obviously, Oscar's got his mini fridge. There's still stuff here that needs to go. All the tea towels and stuff, all is. I'm just going to move all this now, take all the drinks and bleach and paint down for now till later on. But yeah, it's getting there. And if we stand back here, obviously the mattresses are on the floor. So, but I think this looks really cool, if I'm honest. It's like the camping out because it's in the loft, it really suits it. And the boys are like, oh, mum, please, can we just leave it like this? And I'm, I, <clears throat> I'm like, no, 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 no. But I do I do really like it. And I suppose it's an experience for him for a couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah. But what do you think, guys? Do you think we should let them keep the beds like this? Or do you think we might get in trouble for neglecting our kids? I'm not too sure. Somebody on YouTube will have something to say about it. Her kids sleep on the floor on a mattress. Oh well. What do they do when they go camping? They don't take a f double bed with them, do they? But yeah, so we're going to sort these out. These are going to be going. Um, I want to try and get them like a nice display unit for here, like a corner one if I can. And then they can stand some of the stuff in that. And then they've got all the um, hoverboards and stuff over here. But we are going to try and find a home for them. Um, or like a proper place to put them. Like when Chloe moves all the stuff from out of Porsche's room, that understairs part, all the electrics can probably go in there. So it's looking very good. Here's Clobo. What are you doing? She's got a new jazzy pyjamas on. I'm going to tell everybody about your date. <laughs> Chloe's got a date next week. Um, but yeah. Better not say it on camera. She always comes. <laughs> yeah, don't swear. Um, but yeah, anyway. That's basically it. Do you know what? I painted this radiator last night and it doesn't even look like I've done it. It's a shocking job of doing that. I know, but I did it. I piled it on, but I don't know whether it's just because it's not been painted that many times before. <gasps> that is so satisfying that I want to ruin it. <laughs>
what the lines on the floor. Can I make some lines in the hoover? Do you want to finish hoovering with if I take all the paint and bleach down no, and stuff? <laughs> Look, but you've only got to go over the floor. So you just want you to. Better that you better hope that work piece of Lego. So you just wanted to make lines in the floor. You know, you actually not meant to leave for a carpet when you first You said leave it half an hour. Oh, you. you've gone blurred. Are you happy now? How satisfying is that? So she's made a lot of lines in the floor. You can't see it from that side. You have to do it from this side. <laughs> you're, a, you're a weirdo, aren't you? Right, I'm going. Alright guys, my turn now to check in and also my turn to end today's vlog. I told you that we were going to be trying to get back to normal and we kind of have been. Obviously, there's just there's still a ways to go, we know that, but you know, we're doing the boys room. Sarah's got a cold, she's just getting over it. Now I've got it and I feel like absolute crap. So it's going to go through all of us. I've also had the COVID jab thing done, uh, not done, come through. So I'm going to ring them after I've done this actually and try and book it in. But I'm not too sure if I can have it because I've got a cold, but we will know shortly. So, there is nothing else left to do. I'm looking at it now, we're on 26 minutes. It's long enough, I don't need to jibber and jabber. Sarah's been on the vlog all day. It's gonna be monumental. Do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell, it does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can, and we will see you guys tomorrow, as always, because we do this every single day. <laughs>